This is Optimal Finance Daily, episode 48, The High Price of Pursuing My Dream and Creations Over Consumer Goods by Joshua Fields Milburn of TheMinimalists.com. Get ready to maximize your potential with Optimal Finance Daily, the podcast that brings you the best content in personal finance five days a week. Your optimal life awaits. Now here's your host, Dan Warren. Hello once again, and welcome to Optimal Finance Daily, where I read to you from some of the very best personal finance blogs on the planet. Today, we've got a double shot Two posts from Joshua Fields Milburn of TheMinimalists.com. And if you have any ideas for us about uh, potential authors or posts, let us know at oldpodcast.com. And The Minimalists actually just started their tour a couple of days ago to promote their new film on minimalism. If you're interested in checking that out, you can see the trailer and more over at minimalismfilm.com. A few of the authors that we hear from on this show will be in that documentary, including Leo Babauta, Joshua Becker and Courtney Carver. So uh, you'll get to see all their faces and learn a lot more about how they have found success with a more minimal lifestyle. And with that, let's hear from the minimalists and start optimizing your life. The High Price of Pursuing My Dream by Joshua Fields Milburn of TheMinimalists.com. It turns out that the American dream was never my dream. Rather, it was competing with my dream, clouding over my revelatory desire to be a writer. The big house, the fancy car, the impressive job title, the six-figure salary, the superfluous stuff, I had all of it. But none of it made me happy, and none of it allowed me to pursue my dream. Instead, there was a void. Something was missing. I didn't know what that void was, and working 70 to 80 hours a week didn't give me much time to explore its cavernous interior. And so before I left my job in 2011, I had to pay the price for my self-indulgent 20s as that decade descended into the horizon. I could no longer afford the lifestyle I'd been living, a cog in a wheel of greed and lust and happenstance. Instead, it was far more important for me to pursue my dream, to pursue my passion for writing, than it was for me to keep living that empty, opulent lifestyle, a lifestyle which, by the way, was not bringing me happiness. Thus, pursuing my dream didn't come without a cost. Before I left my career to become a full-time writer, I spent two years paying off the vast majority of my debt, credit card debt, student loans, medical bills, and the like. Then I paid off my car and sold my large house and eventually moved into a small $500 apartment. Then, over time, I gradually got rid of nearly all my bills, committing to no commitments. I no longer have the internet at home. Instead, I now find more productive things to do with my time, focusing on my health and my relationships and the more important things in life. When I need to use the internet, I go to the library or a coffee shop and I use it deliberately, no longer wasting hours of my life surfing the web. Living my dream doesn't allow time for such pillory. No more TV. Instead, I read or write or go to a concert or a movie with a friend, creating meaningful, lasting experiences instead of channel surfing my life away. Living my dream doesn't allow time for such passive nonsense. No more expensive gym membership. Now, I walk more than ever, and I exercise each day at home or in the park. And at age 31, I'm in the best shape of my life. No more extra bills. No new expensive cars. No more satellite radio. No more expensive cell phone plan. No more Netflix. No more magazine subscriptions. I even stopped buying material possessions for a year. Living my dream makes these ephemeral pleasures pale in comparison. And now my only bills at this point are rent, utilities, and insurance. Everything else had to go. I decided that pursuing my dream was worth it. I now make less money than I did a decade ago, but I've never been happier. That happiness didn't come without a price, though. It meant getting uncomfortable, questioning my stuff, and getting rid of my crap. It meant refocusing my finances and reprioritizing my life. It meant living more deliberately and intentionally. It meant I had to stop living the lie and start living my dream, moving forward with a new life of focus and passion and purpose, and far less stuff. Since then, I've written the best literature of my life, and I've never felt more alive. How about you? Is your dream worth the sacrifices you need to make? Creations Over Consumer Goods, also by Joshua Fields Milburn of TheMinimalists.com. A pound of experiences is much more valuable than a pound of stuff. 
Don't get me wrong, I still buy things. I'm a minimalist, not a Luddite. But most of the things I purchase aren't things in the traditional sense. During my lotus-eating 20s, I spent much of my hard-earned moolah on material possessions. Luxury cars, a massive house, expensive furniture, every new gadget available, expensive clothes, shoes, watches, collectibles. You name it, I probably had it. However, none of these things fulfilled me. The things I purchase today, though, are experience-laden creations, not material possessions. Instead of spending money on consumer goods, I prefer to purchase experiential goods, music, books, movies, musical instruments, etc. While these purchases might come packaged in physical packaging, that's not what I'm paying for. The vehicle itself is irrelevant. Rather, I'm paying to experience each creation. Creations enhance my life much more so than material possessions. My favorite activities today include playing guitar, walking while listening to music or podcasts, and reading new books, often using my phone's Kindle app, which allows me to enjoy books in five-minute intervals while standing at the checkout line, relaxing on park benches, or waiting in my dentist's waiting room. I find value in experiencing these things, not in the things themselves. A Rolex will never buy you more time, but experience-based goods possess the potential to add value to your life and thus to help you grow. So buy that fancy new wristwatch if you must. I'll be over here experiencing life, growing, not concerned with the time. You just listened to the posts titled The High Price of Pursuing My Dream and Creations Over Consumer Goods, both by Joshua Fields Milburn of TheMinimalists.com. What did you think? Come share your comments with us about today's posts or today's author over at oldpodcast.com. And if you want a chance to win a book by these very minimalists, we give away one book to a random email subscriber each and every month. To win it, though, you must be an email subscriber. So to be a part of our newsletter, you can text the word financial to the number 44222 or visit us online at oldpodcast.com and enter your email address there. Once you do join, you'll get some free spreadsheets from us to help you optimize your life, as well as a video tutorial to go along with it, and you'll be automatically entered in that book drawing to win the book Minimalism, Live a Meaningful Life, and the drawing takes place on the first of every month. And that's it for episode 48. I will catch you tomorrow where your optimal life awaits. Hello, Life Optimizer. This is Justin Mollick, creator and producer of this podcast, but also Optimal Living Daily, the show where I read to you from even more blogs covering finance, productivity, minimalism, personal development, and more from amazing bloggers like Derek Sivers, Zen Habits, The Minimalists, and all the ones you hear on this show too. So if you enjoyed today's episode and like taking amazing blogs on the go, come on over to Optimal Living Daily and subscribe to that one too. And together... We'll start optimizing your life. You've been listening to Optimal Finance Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us. And remember, your optimal life awaits.